For today's cup of coffee, we've got uh, three writers on this one. What? Yes. This comes from Mirror and has been written by Robert Harris, Pippa Allen Kinross, and Hannah Kane. And that was May the 8th of 2023. Maybe a couple of them's interns or something. Maybe. And it says, the owners of a haunted house said that they have been left so terrified by mysterious screams, they refused to step back inside. Alan and Christine Tate said that their home was hiding a dark secret as they have been plagued by sinister noises since 2018. And we do have a slideshow, but because I don't have two monitors, mm -hmm. I, I can't read and sh work the slideshow at the same time. So we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We're baby steps. We're, we're you know, gearing up the tech little by little. Yeah. We will soon don't, have two monitors. I don't know that we'll ever rid ourselves of the paradigmness, but anyhow. It says, at some point. It says in June of 2018 christine was making a coffee not just coffee that's a uk thing she was making a coffee in the kitchen at the house in ammonford here we go carmarthenshire that don't expect me to do that one again and it says but while she stood over the table she so became is this based in the uk or yes okay yes it is in the uk she became convinced that she could hear strange noises and in the weeks that followed the couple were disturbed by the sounds of women and children screaming heavy knocking and men talking in a foreign language the fuck Damn. that is <laughs> that is highly disturbing yeah and although they had lived in the house for 11 years, within weeks, the couple left and vowed never to return. The couple who moved into a camper van set up recording devices around the house to investigate the noises. Christine told Wells Online, quote, It was like a flushing noise that I heard first. I told Alan about it and that I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. He left his phone in the bathroom with the recorder on to try to pick up the source of the noise and then we could hear a machine running we started to record all over the house and we picked up the sounds of chains a motorbike starting and people screaming end quote the tates both 62 soon realized that the noises were subterranean and appeared to be coming from underneath the basement that sits below the kitchen they even got police uh, the police around uh who couldn't find the source of the noise i'm sorry a little bit of hesitation because they they write differently and we do it's all right that's that's some <laughs> fucked up shit anyhow Alan was not deterred. He dug two 1.5 meter channels into the walls and put recording equipment inside. What he found, he said, was horrifying. That much into the wall? Why? Yeah. <laughs> From a Stick your whole ass head in it. <laughs> Just do that. <laughs> From a woman screaming, screaming, dogs barking, a motorbike, and a car horn, the couple accumulated hundreds of hours of recording of the different sounds, all of which they claimed were coming from beneath their house. The pair now travel around the UK warning others about the ordeal and trying to spread, a word, uh, spread the word about what is going on in Ammonford. What? And Alan what? said, Alan said, quote, hundreds of people have been in touch with us and agreed that this needs to be properly I'm looked at. I'm confused what they're trying to fucking say. Are they saying that there's people under their ground? Yes. Like there's, like there's a whole underground city. Something. Something. And says that, uh, all I really want is an explanation. Why are the people screaming? There must be something going on. We have placed microphones all over the place because we wanted to prove or disprove what we were hearing. Were the noises coming from the main road? Were they coming from a park? We put microphones at the front of the house, at the back of the house, inside and out, and in the basement. The device we left in the basement picked up the screaming and other noises the other devices which were recording simultaneously at the front and back of the property picked up nothing at all end quote what the actual fuck yeah 
<laughs> the couple sent Wells online a key to the house, but warned reporters uh, that entering the property would be at their own risk. Despite being a busy town center, the property is hidden down a narrow and lonely alleyway. The street is filled with shops and other commercial properties, bar one empty building next door that is set up for sale. The kitchen sits directly above the now sealed off basement. There is no direct access to the play uh, to the underground space other than a small hole with nine foot of darkness below it. Although the journalist left a recording device at the edge of the hole for several hours, the only sound picked up was them leaving the property. So hmm. they didn't hear nothing. It says, however, the Tates who recorded inside the walls of the basement, rather than above the hole in its ceiling, are adamant something is going on and have set up a petition to demand authorities investigate further. They claim police are ignoring their concerns and that this uh, matter needs an urgent full investigation. Uh, Diford Powell's police, I don't know. I don't know. I'd best I can do. Confirmed it had received correspondence from Allen and officers attended the area in November last year. They did not find evidence of wrongdoing. Okay, but the Tates believed there were men, women, and children living, sleeping, and working underneath the house. And so Alan, So there was obviously something going on. Alan believed that there were quite a lot of people down there and is concerned that it could be connected to people trafficking as well as drug manufacturing. The couple refused to return to Amernford and said that they were fearful for their own safety. They would not say where in the UK they are currently living and did not want photographs of them themselves in the press. Well, I can understand that. Yeah, I can perfectly understand that too. Alan said, quote, we're traveling around the country handing out posters and flyers about what we think is going on. We want as many people as possible to know about this so that the police are urged to carry out a more thorough investigation. We don't want to go back until the matter has been resolved. I think we're dealing with a serious criminal gang here, and I think our lives could be in danger if they knew where we were, end quote. Now, now I can get to the slideshow on this. Slideshow. The, Slideshow time. the first question time. would be, is there like, is there a tunnel system? Is there a sewer system or anything like that underneath these underneath houses? Them. And this one here is of the basement. And, and it's like, th that's rough looking. It doesn't, it didn't say that anybody had been in there. And had torn stuff up. It just said people were living in it. No, no. This is this is the pictures of the actual house oh. as the Tates had left it, as far as I understand. The sounds are supposed to be coming from underneath the house. Okay. They lived so, in that? Uh -huh. It gets better. Now, that section's not that horrible. They've got, you know, the stairwell and stuff. I don't know what that I is. I don't know. That's pretty bad. It gets better. That's pretty bad. This one here. In. This one here. I don't know why there is a commode in what appears to be the living room. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. They um, do have the gnome on the shelf, though. I can appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, that's this is some Zillow gone wild shit right here. But like I said, they did they not. They this for like 500000 He didn't say anything about... Anybody going in and rummaging through the house? Who would? Who could? So I guess they left it as is. Wouldn't you? I, I, I would hate, of course, I would hate somebody to come in right, right now and go, oh I my God, somebody's rummaged. And then we've got this, which I do believe is the kitchen. I don't know what the hell those blue totes are. I don't. Yeah, I looked at those. And and it's like, as far as I know, this is just how they left it. Y'all. So, yeah. That's why they don't take y'all seriously. And it was what somebody there, somebody in the comments on this was that said that the screaming was for these people to clean up, to tidy up. Yeah. 
clean your shit. So, you know, I mean, I mean, honestly, and it could be these people are delusional. That is always could be something like a case of psychosis going on. It, it could be. There is actually, and I can't remember what the name of it was. It was some kind of, it had a French name where people can share delusions. Don't so, know. And, and I understand they've got some problems over there in the UK. Um, I think that, I don't know that their drug issues are quite as bad as here in America because we're just a larger country. But. Yeah, that that's that's kind of a mess. Mm -hmm. These people lived. Maybe they just wanted an excuse to get out. <laughs> Maybe it's like somebody else clean it here. And we'll put it on the market. Yeah, I mean it's cluttered. Let's put it like this: it is it is cluttered, but I don't know that it's filthy. There is a difference. Yeah, clutter you can do something with. Filth you just have to call in experts. I just don't understand about the toilet. I don't understand that either. Because that's just sitting there. It's just there. That that makes me question lots of things. Yeah. But as far as what these people were hearing, I, I know that they are convinced that there were groups of people, families, whatever, even if it was, well, I, I guess if it was a matter of human trafficking, that that could be the reason as far as kids and women screaming. Mm -hmm. But it looks like they, they didn't say anything about male voices speaking in a very loud, angry manner. So that would go along with that. Yeah. Um, you know, so why would they have a motorcycle down there? I mean, yeah. that would take a very large space. And even as far as, unless it's some kind of vast sewer system there, mm -hmm. which it could be. I don't know. I, I, from my understanding, this is more of a smaller community. Yeah. Folks over there in the UK, y'all let me know. Because I'm not going to go on Google Maps right now. I mean, they're basically living on an island. Well, the whole thing is an island. Yeah. Yes. The, you know, UK, France all of them they're little island nations but if you look at ireland it, scotland but if you look at it they're islands that thing is small it is it is so it would not surprise me if they actually did build a whole ass other city under there like the scp foundation uh, had on their wiki page <laughs> under england i think or it was like something like that well it, it was an scp and it was like the ant it was like a it was literally like the underside version of England. That's interesting. Well, I know as far as the French catacombs, those are the ones that most people think about. Uh -huh. And that they are vast. People have gotten lost in them before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they're mazes. Yeah. Mazes. Yeah. But I don't know that this part of England would, would have, have something like that. Yeah, that's why I was going to say that. I've heard that parties and such imagine <clears throat> having those imagine being in one of those raves in those catacombs yeah that would have been great that would have been wicked but that energy though mm. yeah that would be that would be bad but that's a catacombs i think that's different than a sewer system <sighs> did they consent to having their bones placed there yeah yeah because i know they didn't in the great wall of china they just shoved their work the workers bones or bodies right up in there well yeah I do or at that. least that's that's what rumored. I think that's rumored. Lot, I think a lot of construction sites <clears throat> that has happened. That and people doing mob hits. Reportedly, that has been something that they just threw them in there and then they poured cement over them. That's the whole joke about the cement shoes. Is that actually true? Because I don't know. I don't know. I like I really about don't. that China? Because like I've heard that since I was a kid. I've heard that too. I don't know that that is. I don't know that there's any way to verify that. But anyhow, that has nothing to do with the Tates and their totes and their hearing stuff. Mm. I well, would it was say just a thought that went right, in along with right. that. 
if the police, if there was some kind of sewer system or something under these people's property, mm -hmm. oh, okay, the rest, it said that the rest of the buildings were occupied except for that one that they're trying to sell. Looks like some of the other buildings would have heard similar noises. Yeah. And the police, if they knew that there was a sewer system, seems like they would have checked into that. You would think. So, you know, are these people, was this a haunting? Is it a matter of that they really do have some kind of subterranean something going on? Or are they just kind of batshit crazy? Other option was they just were hoping that somebody would come in and tidy up for them. I don't know. I honestly think that they were hoping someone would come up, come in there and clean. Maybe. <laughs> it's like maybe, but it's like come in here and and look through some of this stuff. And it could honestly, I, I mean, but they could actually be. Did they show the recordings? Uh, -uh. no, Why not on this. Well, you, it's hard to show a recording. You play the audio. <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. A lot of times the the I think it's because we don't have a VPN. They do have videos on some of these stories, but they're not accessible to us. Oh, well, fuck that. Fuck that, like, region so, exclusivity, whatever. Region well, I'm just locked. saying. You asked. I'm telling you. That's, that's all I know. We do need a VPN. Uh, yeah, probably. But I don't know. These people got something going on. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff there. I don't know how valuable any of the stuff would be, but, Yeah. Final thoughts. Have, have these people got ghosts? England. Have they got the crazies? There could be a whole ass other city that they themselves don't even know about. Well, for the, I mean, they're specific. It's a conspiracy theory. Sure it is. It's a great conspiracy theory. But for them to be that adamant that they're going through other places and handing out flyers yeah they must be really convinced they are but where like i said where are the other people from the properties near there it wouldn't be specific to just that one place and even as far as them trying to record and it was just the one uh one area that got you know picked up sounds other people would hear it in their basements as you would well think. in that area yeah you would think because the way that sound travels and and why did the other ones not other recorders not pick it up unless for some reason it's thinner but they they probably just shoved that outside and that was it like I said and it could be something paranormal it could be paranormal they shoved that outside the window and recorded that street sounds that's what they did <laughs> well that's what they said that it wasn't that it wasn't street sounds I don't know. The police very well may know these people, which is why they were. sometimes the little boy cried wolf when the wolf appeared. I'm not saying. I'm just saying that that could be. I'm not, you know, saying that the Tates, they may be perfectly fine, upstanding peoples. Mm -hmm. But something's going on and they're driving around UK passing out flyers. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of going home and hiring a mate or something. And mm. Building a bathroom so it's not in the living room. That could be Why very awkward. Why is it in the living room? I don't know. Why? I don't know. That's the my, my primary you question on this. Built like a stall for it? <sighs> no, there's there's nothing. There's not even a curtain around it. It's just not even sitting a there. Curtain. It's just sitting there. Not even a... That's not the even guest a horseshoe chair. curtain. That's the guest chair. Not that is that's the, <laughs> that's the guest toilet. You have to bring your own seat oh. and paper and door. Yeah. So, bring your own blanket. It's recommended <laughs> if you have like one of those like at home sauna systems mm -hmm. that just zip up around you. Some things need to remain private. They mm -hmm. really do. I know that's that's a foreign concept to some in our one world of those today. Sauna but boxes that that like not everybody needs to know everything. Out of. That would be just as bad. That really so, would. Like, 
you're sitting on it, but all they can see is no, your head. No, not even that. Final thoughts on this. <laughs> that that was my final thought. That was That's your final thought. Okay, if you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, we're very much interested in your thoughts about what these people could have heard if you think they did hear something if you do know anything about uh, sewer systems or catacombs or anything that could be underground in this area let us know in the comment section i swear i will eventually get around to the emails i really really will <laughs> I'm psyching myself out on it. It's like, oh my God, I'm so far behind. It's like, oh, now I've got, I've got stress because I'm so far behind. And you just, yeah, it's called a clusterfuck. Yes, but you can email us, cupcoffeewithscream at gmail.com. That's in the description box, and I'll put the link to the article. And maybe you're one of the people that can access the video. That mm -hmm. would be great. Yeah. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Know that you're loved. Yes. If you're hearing weird stuff, get a friend to come over and go, hey, do you hear this weird stuff too? And get a snake camera. Yeah. Hey, that would be great. Yeah. That would be. With audio. Mm hmm So, Lord With willing. Audio. Get one of those boom mics that you can just like that with the long ass stick. Yeah. And just shove it down there. Well, I mean, dude dug the holes in the walls, so why the hell not? Right? I don't know. There's lots of questions. Mm -hmm. We have lots of questions from this. Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Bye. Bye.